TMM, tell me more. It is basically like friend advice, older sister advice, younger sister advice, love advice, not just advice, gossip, um, a talk show, a podcast. I just feel like I put everything that I wanted to do in a episode and that's basically what it is. Today with our comeback, I have a very special guest. I've never had a special guest on Tell Me More, ever, ever, ever. This, if you don't know already, is my cousin. If you would like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Hedgen. Nice to meet you guys. She's my cousin that you guys see all the time. She comes and visits me all the time during the summer. Well, it's kind of winter right now. She rarely comes <laughs> in the winter, but... I will take her whenever I can. She's also the cousin that Kim flew out for my birthday recently. So I am very excited to talk all Valentine's Day, love, dating, all the juicy things. We have made Valentine's Day inspired drinks. Mm -hmm. So my drink is the Pink Meat Girl because it's pink for Valentine's Day. Inside we have white rum. Uh... What did I put in here? Grapefruit. Oh, great. <laughs> Inside we have white rum, grapefruit tonic, and then some simple syrup to make it sweet. And then I topped it with some really cute raspberries. Ooh. So I basically made like my rendition of a sparkling lemon drop martini, but I used rosé instead of like lemonade. Um, and we are naming her Sparkles. So we are swapping drinks for each other. I actually didn't even taste mine, I realized. Do we get to taste our own though after? Yeah. Okay, because I want to, I think I'm going to want to taste mine again. Okay, I'm so scared. Yours smells strong. Yours scares me. No, I, yeah. think, I think yours is going to be stronger than Oh mine. my god, you're scaring okay, me. Ready? Stop Jen. it. Jen, you have to make eye contact towards bad sex for 10 years. Did you know that? John. <laughs> I almost looked away. I just blew on it. Ooh! <gasps> yours is so good. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yours is really oh good, but like gosh. it hits me strong. Oh my god, yours is Wait, does it really so good? good? Oh my god. Shut up. I actually don't want you to try yours. <laughs> I think I just take it all. It's so good. Oh my god, good, good, good. Oh my god. I think it's because like I feel like I'm on an empty stomach right now. So like it's going down strong, but it tastes really good. Right? Yeah. Wait, I kinda wanna I think one. I could eat this like drink this. You like it? I think I would wanna drink this again. Hey, we have some leftovers. We we can make more. Yeah, I really like it. Mmm. There's good. Would you like to put it down? Sure, sure. Okay. <gasps> really? You don't know, like messing around. It's like really good. It's better. Oh my gosh, you like, I like it. Like half of it. I like it better than the one that I made. And I was like, when I tasted mine, I was like really confident. Mm -hmm. But this is like so good. So I asked you guys to ask us some questions on Instagram. So I collected about 10 questions. These are not in any specific order. I'm like getting nervous. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Don't be. Okay. 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 okay, first question. Mm -hmm. How much has your relationship with each other changed as you got older? <laughs> what? Okay, okay. How much has our relationship, what? Changed. Like, basically, okay. like, what's the difference from when we were little to now? Okay, well, when we were little, we weren't actually that close. Mm -mm. Um, just because, like, you were older than me. Mm -hmm. And, like, I feel like 
we're like two years apart. So uh -huh. it's still enough, like when you're in elementary school, where like if you're in sixth grade, I'm right. still in fourth grade. Or like mm -hmm. if you're in fourth, I'm literally in second grade. Yeah. So you were always kind of like, you're such a little baby. You know what I mean? And I was. Mm -hmm, At that time, mm -hmm. I was the baby of the family. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like as soon as we went into like middle school, I feel like maybe, I, I guess you, maybe you thought that I was like going cool. up a little bit more. And then, and then when I hit high school, we were like good. And I feel like ever since high school, we've been just like really close. Yeah. And if anything, we've just been like more and more transparent with each other. It's always just been like we're super close. Cause, like, I agree. You ha you and I have like similar interests and like similar mm -hmm. way of just like mm -hmm. how we deal with situations. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We're just really similar. Yeah. We're like so similar. It's almost scary. I mean, she's <laughs> definitely, I feel, I feel like, not that this is really a part of the question, but I feel like you're so just more gentle and like soft yeah, spoken uh, yeah and i'm so aggressive i mean like we grew up in like the polar difference oh yeah of, she's like, east country. coast oh my god i'm sorry That's good. and i'm <laughs> west coast not but we're supposed to be like chill over here i don't know yeah, like i, I feel like i'm <laughs> so down your throat but yeah. we totally like our morals and like our views on certain things are like they match up so well yeah continuing on Favorite cocktail and or favorite food cuisine? Okay, favorite cocktail. Right now, I'm really into mojitos. Like, Ooh. I am growing a little mint plant. Are you really? My, yeah, in my apartment because oh I really want to, like, make cute mojitos. Because I feel like mojitos are nice for, like, people who drink and don't drink alcohol. Oh, so, like, I, I just, guess. I just kind of like to do, like, a little mojito thing. It's just, like, an easy drink. Um, And then I would say for favorite cuisine, Japanese, no question. I love no question. Love sushi. Love mm. like the noodles. Even love like they're like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I can let you know. I'm gonna just pot freeze. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna put a disclaimer here. I'm sorry if you guys hear airplanes. I'm gonna try to cut it out as much as possible. But apparently, everyone is flying in and out today, <laughs> so. I will do the best I can. So I really like sushi. Mm -hmm. I really like they're like all the different types of noodles. Even like they're like kudon, like they're like any meat over rice. I also really like just like the oh. way they do like their traditional setup. Uh -huh. I think I've liked majority of their food, uh, but I could be like Japanese okay. babe no matter what. My favorite cocktail right now is probably a lemon drop martini or a lemon drop shooter. I've never had <gasps> lemon drop anything. Okay, I wasn't gonna take you to yard house, but I was like, I need to take you to the yard house. <laughs> oh my god! You've never had a lemon drop martini. No, because I feel like the only person I would ever have it with is you. Apparently, and we're going now because. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, martini. that's so funny! It's so good though. Is it it's literally just a lemonade with like a boom of vodka. Oh. Yeah, but it's so sweet and like the rim is like rimmed with sugar. <gasps> oh. So good. That was yummy. Okay, we try. Um, and then my favorite food cuisine is probably, I would say I go towards American way more. Oh. Than okay, like okay. any other okay. one. After okay. that is like Japanese, mm. but it's probably American way more than anything I would have else. never thought American. Really? What do you I think I thought then? you were going to say Japanese. Okay, but that's the thing. So I only say it's American because I feel like I just choose American more. But oh. I I do enjoy Japanese way more. I see, I see. Okay, that so, makes sense. I guess if we're saying favorite, yeah, it is Japanese. Well, you like, if you're, I feel like if you're going for it more and you're seeking it, that has to mean something. Right? Yeah. But that's also because I'm like a French fry whore. Okay. <laughs> How do you guys stay so close being long distance cousins? Well, I mean, you and I talk quite often. Yeah, we do. I, and I'm, I'm not a texter. So like, because like I'm huge on being like talking on the phone, mm -hmm. I feel like you and I talk if it's like regular, once a month. Yeah. And then if it's not, I feel like the longest we've gone is like once in like three months. Like that's yeah. like genuinely the longest. Like longest, longest. Yeah. But normally like once or yeah. like, yeah. I feel like at least like at the most we've done is probably like once every two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. We've definitely um, done that. And I feel like usually that's when we have like a lot going on. Yeah. Like sure. a lot. Or we like spoke about something mm -hmm. and then we wanted like update like hey how are you like hey how did yeah. that fall through like exactly. basically um usually when we go through like long periods of time of not talking to each other it's like there's really nothing, nothing going, going on. on yeah there's yeah nothing going on. so we kind of need like that time to like 
basically put everything <laughs> together to say to each other on the phone. But when we're on the phone, everyone in my family at least knows. I know you're on your own. Yeah. But, like, in my family at least, they're like, oh, like, we're not going to have her for the next, like, five hours. Yeah. Like, when I'm we, usually, I'm, I'm, yeah. no one can contact me. No one can anything me no. for, like, the next couple of hours. Yeah. It's, like, a good solid, I think the longest we were on the phone is, like, almost six hours. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it was a long time. I remember because I got off the phone and my mom was like, you guys have like that much to talk about? And I'm I know, like, right? we just <laughs> talk about like nonsense. It definitely helps that I come like yearly. Yes, like, for sure. We would, I think like during, during the amount of time that I'm here, we like mm-hmm. really bond. Oh yeah. As much as we possibly can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that it like makes up for her. For sure. The whole time I'm I know, seriously. And that's why Kim flying her out for my birthday was really special because when COVID hit, mm. she hadn't come for like two years. So it was like yeah. a really big deal. Cause like that's Kim the longest. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. I'm so used to seeing you all the time. Every year, yeah. It made me sad. Anyways. Yeah. Have you guys ever considered moving in together? Oh my I hate this question because <laughs> We've been talking about moving in together since, like, high school. Like, yeah. And obviously, we we weren't in a place to be moving in together, but, mm-hmm. like, I genuinely thought... I genuinely thought that I would be going to college in California, and then it didn't end up happening. But, like, I really thought, like, oh, I'm going to move here, we're going to live together, and we're going to be the bestest friends ever. <laughs> no, I totally like, believed like, it. that's what life was going to be. I thought that was what was going to happen, too. And then I didn't go to college here, but then I was like, okay, it's fine, because then I'll just get a job here. Yeah. And then I didn't end up getting a no. job here. No. And then and then there was, like, potential other times where it was like, okay, no, it, there's still a chance. Yeah. And then every single time, it just never happened. I know. Um, and I, it's, it's definitely mainly me just because my life no. is on the other side. Well, yeah, she grew up, she was like, well, you were born here, but she was yeah. like raised over there and like yeah. her friends are over there. Like she grew up there. So it's like, I understand why you would stay yeah. there. But I think if there was an opportunity, like there was, there's no reason why we wouldn't take it. Right, 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 right. And I feel like if there needs to be manipulation of an opportunity, then then so be it. <laughs> I just feel like it's always been a dream. It'll always yeah. be a dream no matter like how old I get, I feel like. Once in my life. I it has to. to happen. Yeah. Or like it needs to be like a long enough vacation to feel like we yeah, moved in together. Months. Yeah. Like it looks <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh what type of men do y'all like? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what type of men? What type of men? It kind of correlates. There was another one. Hold on. It was like... <laughs> I don't even know. Um, it kind of... It I'm going to mesh these questions together, but it's like, what are some deal breakers when it comes to a romantic relationship? So, like, kind of like, just like, what... Maybe, like, what are, like, turn-ons for you and what are turn-offs for you? Okay. okay. You know? Okay. You know, turn-on and turn-off. I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely like a guy that's really generous. Oh, okay. Like, generous and really sweet. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I don't really hear that often. Like, I always, like, you know, it's like a go-to. Like, girls are always like, I want a boy or I want a man that's, like, kind or nice. Yeah. But it's, like, generous is very specific. Yeah, I definitely want them to be, like... Yeah. Yeah. I definitely care about someone mm, okay. being polite and well-mannered. In, like, a traditional, like, Korean way or, like, just, like, general manners? General manners, like, open the door. Not even just oh. for me, for, like, people. Oh, okay, I'm okay. I like, well-mannered to, like, society and, like, <laughs> the community. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, because it doesn't mean anything if he's nice to you, but he's, like, yeah, like, like a jerk to everyone exactly. else. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get what you mean. What is, what's, like, a... Like a green light for you. A green light? For me, it's like understanding, I guess, understanding and willing to try to be like, get along with the people around. Mm, Because that's very important. Because I have a very small group of people that I trust and like, I love spending time with. Mm -hmm. So like you or my brother especially Mm -hmm. or like him and Carlos, people like that, I really need them to... And obviously, like, I understand, like, personalities don't always mesh, but, like, yeah. still the efforts, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's a green light. Okay, well, 
So then what's Deal a red flag? Like oh my gosh. Red flags? <laughs> red flags? I don't know. Did you say you're a red flag? No, not yet. I don't have one. You don't like, have any red flags? No, I do, but I can't think of them. Or like, do you know? You know me. Your red flags? There has to be some that I like have said. See? You can't think of any. I, just I definitely know I have some. I just know the type of guys you don't really go for. So you just like don't like douchebags. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, plain and simple. Yeah. Red flag. Yeah. What's yours? <laughs> I have like stupid red flags where it's like, like I don't believe in crystals. Oh, <laughs> so, we've talked about this. I don't believe in crystals, so like if you're gonna like approach me and tell me that like, you're gonna like throw a rose quartz at me and be like, it's gonna heal your life and you're gonna throw all your stress into this rock. Ah! Yeah, I think, I think, I don't think we're not gonna mesh. No. Or like someone that like it's so not so great, but like someone who like is really gonna like throw astrology at me every single day. Like oh. I don't think I can like wake up in the morning and then have it be like, oh my god, your moon sign is telling you that you have to like do X, Y, and Z. Like oh. yeah, I want like a little bit more freedom and like I've never I've never met anyone like that. They're, yes. they I've never met a dude like that. I haven't met I'm a dude sure, like that. Like, I'm sure they exist. I am, like, in the astrology world where, like, I like reading on it because it's just yeah. entertaining for me. No, I agree. Yeah. But I'm definitely not someone, like, if a guy came up to me and was like, oh, like, I don't get along with Libras, I would yeah. literally be like, okay. Even, like, vice versa. Like, oh, my God, you're a Libra? I'm a, I don't even and know. And then we're so compatible <laughs> yeah, and it's so like, compatible. that's great. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if we really are. Would you be each other's maid of honors? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like we've, we, we've had that conversation. Since yeah, we were like, for sure. I think even if I didn't want you to, I've already like promised, think you promised, <laughs> like literally like everything <laughs> that like, I have like all my friends know. It's not even a question. No. It's the thing with question. me though is I don't have that many friends. So like. I only have like three people I would put into my thing mm -hmm. and like all of you guys are my maid of honors. I like can't pick and choose. No. I we have promise. to do it. Like, okay, okay. You, you promise. Okay. We literally <laughs> promise. I literally said even if I didn't want to, we promise. No. I told you I was understanding <laughs> you. I didn't give it to someone else. No, I would never. Dude, every I don't know if I could give a title though. I'm going to be really honest right now on camera. I don't know if I can. I'm just like, y'all are just people. Like, yeah, close to me. so possessive now. You are? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't even be here. We can do it through Zoom. This is a practice. <laughs> what? You're going to miss all, like, how many times no. are you going to fly in? Every time no. I have a dress fitting, my rehearsal dinner, my bachelorette. What about my engagement party? Oh, my God. See? I mean, it's the same vice versa. You're not wrong. <laughs> you wrong. It's the same vice versa. Um, oh, I should have asked this question first. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Well, kind of, yeah. I, now New, I, I live York. New York! Now, so. I'm from New York, yeah. The York Big City. Apple. And last question is, what is the best and funniest moment you guys have had? Um, a moment that's, like, really funny for me is, like, I was, like, pretty not adventurous back in like New York so then every single time I came here in the summer like during college like oh, yeah. you always let me oh, yeah. like go out and like do whatever I want literally and like she would show me like a good time and so like I would kind of just like put on a different persona yeah and we would like do like crazy stuff and like there's this one time where I like really wanted to like meet guys and like just like go on dates with guys in Cali, so, but I was like scared. <laughs> so like, I forced her to go on a gay dating app date with me to the OC fair. And it was like so funny because him and I had like nothing in common. Like I literally asked him so many questions and then like they ended up hitting it off and it was hilarious because I was, she was like, hey, like, why aren't you like getting along? I was, I was like, like, come on. Like yeah. I literally was walking like 
like she five feet like, away. Yeah, like, like we were I was like own. letting them do their thing. And I know some of you guys may be like, oh, like you went and like third wheeled, but it was it was more supposed to be like a hangout. And yeah. then I knew that I was gonna be like, because I got free tickets. Yeah. I got free tickets and I was just like, hey, we'll just go. Like, it's fun. Like, why not? And the guy knew that, like, yeah, you he dropped knew. Me off. And he totally was yeah. like, okay with the idea. I mean, it was, it was honestly better because I ran out of things to say and I was like, okay. And I, like, looked back and I was like, please. I me. remember. Like, I don't know if I would, what I would do if you weren't there to, like, Come it was in. it was com it was coming down hard like yeah, it like, was getting awkward. We had I've never met anyone that I had that was like complete opposite. Complete opposite. opposite. Yeah, and then you guys had like some things in common, and like you guys were able to carry a conversation so much better than I was, and I was like, thank yeah. God. But that is like forever a funny moment to that me. That is honestly. Because that just like is like that summer was when I was like, I want to go on like dates like, mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. all these guys. And, like, is that the time you met the other one too? Oh my when God. When was that one? That was that the year was before? Like, that was the year before. Oh, okay. That was the year before. <laughs> oh my God. That was my favorite. Oh my God. That one's really rough. <laughs> we have a lot of memories. Like a lot of my favorite memories go come from like going to the beach all the time because mm -hmm. like, when she was here, obviously coming from the East Coast, and I live by the beach, it's just like a given. Who doesn't go to the beach during the summer? Oh my god, when we were little, we used to do this thing where we, we would want to get... There was like different phases of, phases of our life where we'd want to get super tan, and sometimes we would just like yeah. the sun. And the times that we wanted to get super tan, like one time, I was like, was oh bad. my god, help me get tan, help me get tan. And like she would like oil me up because I bought like <laughs> suntan oil. Oh my gosh, I remember. And then we got in like our cousin's new car and her and I were the only ones sitting in the back and I like got up and she was like, oh my gosh. She oiled herself up for Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. <laughs> she oiled and freaked out. I remember we like got up to get like Starbucks or something. Yeah. And you got up and I was like, oh my God, it's in like, yeah. what are you doing? And she like ran in, got napkins, and did he figure it out? I don't know. I don't think he did. He had leather he seats. Oh my god. I mean, luckily it was leather. You were yeah. like oiling it up for him, you know? What oh if it was cloth and you god. just left like a print? That would have been so bad. That would have been bad. But she, I remember, oh my god, I forgot how much you loved tanning. But she basically was tanning to like last her the whole year. The whole year. Until I came back. <laughs> the whole back year. To that sounds like so bad. Like, so unhealthy. So bad. But like, even like the last time I was, like a couple summers ago, I wanted to get, yeah, I wanted to get my legs super tanned out. So we like sat out at the beach mm -hmm. and I got, and we do this, we did this thing ever since we were little where we would um, check our tan lines in the bathroom after. Yeah. And we would see how pale we were and I got such a bad sunburn, like oh, yeah, right where my coochie is. Yeah. And it straight up looked like... <laughs> I was wearing underwear and I wasn't and this essentially this is what happened in the bathroom I was like oh my god and you're like no it's not that bad it's not that bad and you would like laugh so hard I'm like oh my god what am I gonna do god yeah like there's a lot there was a lot of that like throughout the years oh my gosh that's crazy but yeah the beach is my favorite memory um, we used to spend the night at our other cousins. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and we like would sneak around and like look for snacks in the middle of the raid the pants. I'm not even but do you remember I don't know why I have this image of us like army crawling. I don't do know why remember? either. You have that image? We like, were like army crawling in the living room, but no one else is downstairs yeah. with us. I and we were know. like army crawling to the pantry to find food because they always had the best snacks. They did always have the best snacks. Always. Uh, Jen. Jen. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like, it tastes like a Korean candy or drink, but I can't pinpoint what it is. I'm sorry, you can't. She wants to get shwasted. Yeah, she's like. She's really trying. She wants some. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm popping in here just to let you guys know that you officially have finished part one. This video actually ended up being a lot longer than I expected as I was editing. Like, 
way over an hour. So I decided since Tell Me More will now be uploaded every Wednesdays, I thought I will continue this Valentine segment as a part two and upload on Wednesday. So thank you guys so much for enjoying this part one. If you guys are interested in all the talks about dating apps and being the single one in your friend group and all that other fun stuff, wait till part two on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Oh, I yeah. also don't think we addressed our age. Yeah. I, I'm 27. <laughs> and I'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two topics that we're gonna like kind of deep dive into. One of them being like long-term singleness. Second is like dating apps because I feel like nowadays it's more common to say you met someone through a dating app than yeah. Mutual friends or like naturally. Do you are you like are you the chaser type or like you preferably like to be approached first? It, it's hard at a certain point when you're single for so long. Mm -hmm. It's like how do you differentiate chasing and like being desperate? No, but let me show you what you're missing. Yeah, no, right? Oh, you're like, hold on, wait a minute. Like maybe you didn't get my good side. Like, yeah, <laughs> I get like red flags. Like oh my god, yeah. he's a douche to the waiter. Yeah, hundred percent get that. But like. Oh, I don't like the way he dresses. Done. It's like, <laughs> oh my god! Like, you didn't even get 